Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, and in this video I wanna give you my top exercises for building symmetry, so let's jump right into it. So the first muscle group we got is shoulders. We got lateral raises, not presses. Now this is gonna bring up a lot of controversy because people are like, well don't I have to progressively overload? Don't these exercises hit the most amount of muscle fibers? Aren't the compounds the best? While there is some truth to that, there is a difference between cosmetic bodybuilding and bodybuilding, all right? Now, now cosmetic bodybuilding is something that Vince Gerardo preached about, something he taught, something that he was all about because it creates a cosmetic bodybuilding creates a specific type of look. It is very different from bodybuilding. I feel like bodybuilding is just the max amount of development in in just all muscle groups, while cosmetic bodybuilding is the max amount of development in specific areas, you know, like symmetry and old school proportions. Now, those are just the whole Now, this is a whole entirely different topic I want to make another video about, and I will but just to get down to the gist of it. Vince Gerardo created his own specific area, uh, specific um, exercises to create a specific type of look. You know, it's like using a, a a wide variety of tools to get the job done. You know, you're not just using the same old basic tools that everybody else is using. You're using a specific type of tools, you know, to create a specific type of look. It's a little bit more complex. It's not just like regular bodybuilding. You're spe you're creating a specific type of look, a quality type of look. Okay, so it's lateral raises to create that width. Of the shoulders because that's how the old school bodybuilders looked like they had that wide shoulders but then they had the really thick triceps and the really thick biceps so it's like their shoulders weren't small they were just very wide and not so much of the really really round look that bodybuilders have now today like the overly done like round coconut shoulders like on the on on the on the body kind of like a rosh you ever seen bodybuilders like a rosh um on instagram or on on, on Facebook, he's got really wide, shul round, round shoulders. Like they're like coconuts, but they, they're not in proportion with his biceps and triceps. So that he is a classic physique bodybuilder, but I, in my opinion, he doesn't look classic because of that that aspect. Okay. So lateral raises, not pressing. All right. So the next muscle group would be the lats. Now in this case, you would want to do a lot of pull downs or pull ups. Now this creates the width. This creates the V taper. Now not so much of the rowing because that creates the thickness in the back. And then not so much of the width, and this is something um, Arnold Schwarzenegger talked about as well. That he, it's actually in one of his um, success videos where he talks about his um, one of his programs that he was doing that he created for like Muscle Farm, and he talks about that pull ups create the width, and rowing creates the thickness, and that and the the width is what creates the V taper look, okay. And this all ties in together with the shoulders as well. All right, so for those it would be the pull ups, pull downs. And the next muscle group I want to talk about is the waistline. Now, there's two factors that come into this. It could be the diet and genetics. All right, so if you're naturally born with a small waist, you're going to always have a small waist. That was my, that is how I went around. That is how Frank Zane did it too. He's just naturally born with a small waist. Now, if you don't have a small waist, there's one other thing you can do. You can also do vacuums. They help a bit, but to an extent. Now, the real way to get the waist, the waist super small is through sheer dieting. Being in a caloric deficit over a long period of time Dieting down over a long period of time will give you that small waistline because when you know you were, you were at a point when you were younger and you had the small waist and all of a sudden you you started you didn't really take care of your body too much you started eating out more you started you know you, you got a wife you got kids you sort of let yourself go and the way to reverse it because you know you had that small waist or you had a decent waistline when you were younger is to just go back to dieting down over a long period of time and you will reach that point where your waist is that well close to that point. You know, like where it's just, it's not as big anymore. It's small because everybody has abs. Everybody has like, a, you know, a smaller waist. It's just that when they gain the weight, all that stuff sort of disappears. You know, everybody has abs. You just got to diet it down over a long, diet it down and lose the body fat and you can see the abs. And when you can see the abs, the waistline is small. Okay. So after that, next muscle group is the uh, forearms. Now, there's two exercises you could be doing. Um, I wouldn't recommend hammer curls too much. It's more of the brachialis, but I definitely think exercises like the reverse curls are really good for the um, um, the forearms, reverse curls, and rever uh, wrist curls. Wrist curls are really good for the forearms. Now, if you look at bodybuilders like Bill Pearl, he had a, he talked about how he did really heavy um, wrist curls when he was talking to Larry Scott about it. Larry Scott was such an awe that he had uh, such thick forearms. The way he did it through, was through... Um, under underhand wrist curls okay so that creates the thick part of the um 
it's the I feel like it's the really really meaty part of the of the forearm, not like now reverse reverse curls, they work the outer part of the um, of the forearm, and that's not what creates the old look so old school look so much. Yes, it it does a bit, but I feel like focusing more on the underhand wrist curls definitely creates that that um that old school form, you know, when like, if you, you gotta look at pictures of like Bill Pro um, flexing or like Arnold Schwarzenegger or like Larry Scott, the way their form looks like that, how it looks so juicy, like a meat stick, that is done through underhand wrist curls, working those pretty pretty hard, okay? And that brachialis comes into play as well too. When you see a pictures like Arnold doing his poses as well, he has a pretty thick brachialis, so you could throw a couple hammer curls in there, but I think like, I feel like doing reverse um, curls will actually hit that pretty well too. Okay, so next muscle group we got up is the lastly is actually the um, calves. So the calves, um, thick part of the gastro, this thick part of the calves is the gastrocnemius, and this is done through just um, standing calf raises. It'd probably be the highest I'd recommend. You know, every bodybuilder that I've uh, ever studied I looked at their routines. There was a lot of standing calf raises. Like Brett Spark was one of the first ones that I learned to really just focus on the on the standing calf raise, and that also created that. Um, that really thick part of the um, calves. It was just the standing calf raise. It works pretty good. Um, there's another muscle group called the tibialis, which is like the front part of the calf where the shin is at. Hope I said that right. Um, there's an exercise you can do for that too. I don't think it's that much necessary because you can actually hit that through doing um, standing calf raises. If you get a good enough stretch, it will hit it enough, like that shin part, the shin part of the calves. Oh, the shin part of your, the front leg. That works pretty good for it as well. Just getting that full stretch and getting that full flex at the top definitely helps helps out a lot. And that does the kick, guys. That is all the exercise I have for you. Let's do a quick recap. So we got for the shoulders, lateral raises, not presses. For the last, we got um, pull-ups, not rows. Then for the waistline, diving down, um, a couple vacuums here and there. And then um, for the calves, standing calf raises. So that does the kick, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach me out on Facebook. I'll drop the link in the um, in the description below. Also, if you're interested in you know transforming your physique, if you're interested in, in looking good and feeling good this summer, you can set up a free coaching call for me and with, with me in the link in the bio. And we'll talk more about my 12-week program that I have. I call the C I call it the Silver Era Physique or the Silver Era Bodybuilding Program. You can click the link in the below and schedule a call with me. We can go over more of of um, of what's working in your routine, what's not work, um, working, you know, we'll break down all the things, and I'll give you the exact roadmap of what you need to, sh what you should be doing to get to reach your goals. All right. So the reason I do that is because I know there's going to be a percentage of people who are going to want to work with me to implement that plan once we talk about it. So if that's not you, that's totally fine. You know, you still walk away with the roadmap, you still walk away with the tips, you still walk away with what exactly you need to be doing to reach your goals. And, you know, we both get served powerfully. You know, I serve you powerfully and you give me um, a little bit of feedback on what I should be creating for content to help people out. So it's a win-win. You know, it's not like me getting on a sales call for you. It's not me selling you anything. It's just seeing if you're a good fit for the program. And it's me getting feedback on what, how else I can serve people powerfully without charging them. You know, like it's something I've been doing for a very long time. I've been creating content and people have been getting transformed without even having to pay me a dollar. So it's a good win-win for me anyways. So yeah, with that being said, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the, please leave them in the comment section below. If you got any more questions, please feel free to reach out to me in my Facebook. Um, with that being said, I'm Old School Dan. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'm gone. Peace.